Okay, here is an original routine based on an effect by Warner Miller. And I can add a link in the description below to his original performance. Okay, so what we need for this is we need the spectator to select 13 random cards. Now I know that ordinarily 13 is considered to be an unlucky number, but we may prove that wrong here today. So the spectator is free to choose 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, and then they can mix these cards as much as they would like. Now from there, we're going to deal out the cards into three piles. So I'll go kind of like this, like a triangle here. I'll try to keep it in camera view here. Okay, and I'll square these up. Now these two piles over here, furthest away from me, are yours as the spectator. And this is supposedly mine down here. So what I need you to do as the spectator is uh, choose either one of your piles. So maybe you'll want this one here. And I need you to make note of the identity of the top card. Now, of course, I don't have a spectator here, so we'll all see it. Oh, that's a nice card <laughs> at random. Um, so the identity of your card is the Ace of Spades. Okay, and so I just need you to set it back down on top of that pile. And now we're going to set your other pile on top and then put the combined piles on top of mine. Now, since we know exactly where your card is, we really should randomize this packet before we proceed further with the routine. So what we're going to do is, I thought we would use our phrase, pure luck. And we're going to spell that out several times to really scramble these cards into an unknown and random ordering. Okay, so what? So I'll show you what this looks like. So P-U-R-E-L-U-C-K, that's once. P-U-R-E-L-U-C-K, second time. P-U-R-E-L-U-C-K, a third time. And then P-U-R-E-L-U-C-K. Okay, so I don't know if you believe that anyone would be able to follow the movement of all of those cards through that. That would be tremendously difficult. Okay, and now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to use our phrase, but in a different way. I'm going to spell out pure and then luck, and then discard the card at the end of each word. So let me show you how this works. So I'll spell pure, P-U-R-E, discard that one, luck, L-U-C-K, discard, P-U-R-E, Luck, L-U-C-K, P-U-R-E, L-U-C-K, P-U-R-E, L-U-C-K. Finally, P-U-R-E, maybe it's not finally, <laughs> L-U-C-K, P-U-R-E, L-U-C-K. Okay, so where has that where has that brought us? Has pure luck smiled down upon us? Well, let's just take a look. Do you recognize this card? <laughs> it's, it's your card that was freely chosen at the very beginning. How in heaven's name is this even possible? Okay, well, it's pure luck helping us out here. Okay, so you just do exactly what I did, actually. There's no sleight of hand. There's no sneakiness. There's really no subtlety to this at all. I'll explain um, some of the mathematics involved. But with 13 cards, the spec... Oops, sorry, I'm dropping them everywhere. But with 13 cards... Um, you know, randomly arrived at and mixed thoroughly. The spectator just, or performer, just deals them out as I showed you there, like this. Very good. Now, it is true the spectator can choose either one of their piles. Note the top card. Maybe I'll leave it face up. They put the other one on top and then the combined packet right here. 
Okay, so let me just explain this randomization step. Okay, so what I did there was a quad overcoding, which constitutes a false shuffle. So if I count out 50% or more of these cards four times, it resets the packet. Well, there's 13 cards. There's eight letters in pure luck. Well, eight is more than 50% of 13. So if I spell out pure luck four times, it brings this packet back to its original order, which is exactly the order we need it in for this spelling and discarding of the last letter of each of these words. Okay, so maybe I'll just show you the spelling of pure luck and how it preserves that. Because right now this, your, your card is fifth from the top. Okay, so P-U-R-E-L-U-C-K. Okay, that's the first time, P-U-R-E-L-U-C-K. Second time, now it's on top. P-U-R-E-L-U-C-K. Okay, you're, now it's way down there at the bottom. <laughs> Sorry, I'm messing, making a mess here. P-U-R-E-L-U-C-K, drop the rest on top. And guess where your card is gone? It's gone absolutely nowhere. It's still fifth from the top. And now you just proceed with the P-U-R and then discard the last card on E and do the same thing for luck. And this will bring you pure luck. So thank you for watching and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.